My name is Tim Palmer and I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of a farm strip in East Anglia. Welcome back to the vlog and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. I'm trying to maintain my weekly upload during lockdown and give you something to watch and at the same time something for us to look forward to. Please like and comment as it makes it all worthwhile. You can probably see or you will do in a minute when I move to the run up area that it's not going to be a flight. We've had very, very thick fog this morning. Forecast was going to be sunny until lunchtime. No wind. Well, you can see there's no wind. But we've got this fog. Forecast is supposedly for some pretty poor weather coming again um, and as I said in last week's video the problem is where do we stand in terms of essential engine um, flights but well, this isn't going to be a flight but it's going to have to be a fairly substantial ground run because it doesn't do any of our engines any good to stand now um, it is the third or fourth yeah, 4th of February, and uh, the engine hasn't run since the uh, 20th of December. So while we are sitting here, what I do want to do is I want to try a couple of camera positions. John's got his going, which is good, so it means I can now move in that direction. We've gone for the fact that it was better to have... Um, two of us over here in case something went wrong um, and also if we're going to have half an hour of engine running we really want to do that so that um, it's the same amount it has lifted quite quickly which is amazing but it's not going to lift enough I think um, I may have to come around the other side of John in order to come around because I'm not going to get back on myself. I think we're both steaming up quite well. <laughs> have you got me? Yep, loud and clear. Pop that one back. Don't need that for the moment. Suppose I better put this in there so I don't lose it. Turn it on and record. Now with this one, I don't know whether the front camera is going to see it, but you you do tuck it into your belt. Have you leaned down? Just a little bit. Yeah, you t give, give it a little bit of lean so that it gets hot. You should have to try and get up the cylinder head temperature. Yep. I think that might wobble a bit too much. <laughs> Have you seen five deer on the bottom of the runway? I don't seem to be worrying 
That should sit there. Not quite sure how that one's going to go. I don't know. Well, it's still in the head temperature is beginning to get quite high. I can't come here, yeah. That better? That's better. Yeah, it helps if you push the button. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as I say, my cylinder temperature is beginning to get a bit hot. As long as you're not over. Uh, red line, don't worry, because the hotter you get, the better up to a point, because you'll boil all the moisture out. Uh, 225 and 625. Yeah, that's fine. OK. I can't get much above two. I'm going to cycle it as well, uh, slow pick over for a little while, then back to what we were doing and then give it a bit of full blast for a couple of minutes. OK. Uh, slow running. Well, I'm now charging. I've got 14.1. I've got 2,000 RPM. I have to say, this was a bit of a pain. Where am I going? Interesting. Because according to that, that says that my rear tank is empty. Have you tried both tanks? Actually, I was just talking to myself and saying, strangely enough, my rear tank is registering empty. Yeah. I have just turned on to it. I put, uh, put it up, it, it was fine. In actual fact, uh, all the T's and P's are absolutely perfect. So I'm going to uh, go in, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I think I've sunk into the mud, I can't get moving.
that was quite nice to have an engine run, although it does make you uh, really miss your flying. But actually doing the videos can sometimes make you miss your flying. I noticed that last week when I was doing that one about just getting used to being back in the air and I used the uh, PFA check flight. But hey ho, uh, at least she's running and she's working okay and temperatures, pressures, ECG, <laughs> EGT, and cylinder head temperature are all fine. Okay, we'll call that a day. Well, that was very nice. Nice to be back in the cockpit. It's a little bit like sitting in your favourite armchair. John went home after we put the aircraft away, but I wanted to stay and pump up the tyres, but you can see it turned out to be more of a job than I was expecting. Well, <laughs> here I am, I'm in the clubhouse all by myself. It does seem very strange not to have anybody else about. I think that's one of the big things about lockdown that I'm finding. Just not having contact with people. When I was ahead, I, I think I probably had about 64 members of staff working for me, different roles. Um, and that's the big thing that I miss. I miss the people around me. Well, not to mention in a school situation, the children and the parents. So this is all very strange. Actually, <laughs> Got <laughs> red nose, haven't I? Must be quite cold out there. Certainly foggy and damp. I did help put up some snow poles which are hangar roof supports, and that turned out to be a really good thing as we have had some very heavy snow. And here it comes again. What you can't feel <coughs> is just how cold it is in this wind. Makes a big difference in here doesn't it when you get all that snow yeah. up on that roof. Yeah. I have to take it all off because yeah. it's not going to do it any good. Yeah. I've never seen this before locally. So cold that spray from puddles on the road has splashed up and created this icicle hedge. No one knows how and when we're going to get out of this lockdown. The chances are though, that a lot of the grass strips will be waterlogged. So maybe our first fly out will be to Seething, one of our favourites, with a tarmac runway and a very warm welcome. Let's look back and maybe daydream forward to better times ahead. Twelve miles to run. Begin to see Norwich in the distance. Seething radio, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel. Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, guys. A golf for Yankee Echo Hotel is a Jodel DR 1050 inbound to you from Nayland, presently five miles to the south. Roger, 24 left hand circuit, QT 1017. 24 left hand 1017, Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Echo Hotel, downwind left hand 24. Golf Echo Hotel, Roger. Uh, two little officers downwind, uh, contact the one ahead. Golf Unit 
Platform Hotel now lining up for departure on 2-4. November Sierra Alpha, I'd like to uh, follow Golf Uniform Hotel. I'm beginning to think that this is going to be tight. As long as he moves, it should be all right. Oh, my brother, across the two step threshold, see November Sierra Alpha lined up and holding on 2 4. Well, that's not going to work now. Uh, go back to the hotel going round. Uh, Julius Oscar's turning final, runway 2 4. Contact one going around and one on the runway. November 3 Sierra Alpha on the runway 2 4, um, about to depart. Hotel, downwind left hand, contact one on final. Uh, Tillis Oscars, runway vacated, and I need some fuel going to the pump. Golf Echo Hotel, final. Echo Hotel 310, degrees 4 knots. Echo Hotel uh, 180 back track after landing, just check approach is clear. We'll go, go for Echo Hotel. If you time your visit with the opening of the Control Tower Museum, you can either park reasonably close or a club member will offer you a lift around the perimeter track from the clubhouse. Check out the description below for links.
go for Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is ready for departure. Go for Echo Hotel lining up two four. While we were having a cup of tea and a chat, the wind picked up and although I was holding into wind at Aeron, you will see that I came up the centre line for a little while. Copy it, Father, driving up to 4. 